Hello Aries, I'm going to be doing your love reading for July 1st through the 15th, 2020. This will be a special reading because I'm doing two spreads in one. The first half of the video will be for Aries that are already in a connection. And the second half will be for those of you who are single. All right, so let's get right into it. You all know the drill. Uh, if this resonates for you, that's awesome. If not, that's fine. It's just not your reading this time around. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, for Aries, sing no, Aries that are in a relationship or a connection spirit, what messages do you have for Aries that are in a connection? Aries that are in some sort of a connection, what messages do you have for them, spirit? July 1st through the 15th, 2020. Huge thank you to everyone who has shared, liked, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. We've hit 40,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 50,000. Um, so stay tuned. Hopefully that'll be soon. I'm using the Tarot of the Golden Wheel today. Um, all of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. And we're just going to get right into Oh, and I am doing personal readings now, so all of that information is in the description box as well. Okay, that's too many. All right, I'm going to do a simplified Celtic cross today. And I am going to clarify. So let's see what we have for Aries viewers spirit. My Aries viewers that are in a connection. What do they need to know? chariot and two of swords reverse so i feel like there's you've made a decision about a certain direction a path about success moving movement forward why is this happening why is this happening five of cups reverse so I feel like a lot of you are um, maybe overcoming the past, leaving the past behind, recovering from regret, remorse. What's on your mind? What's on their mind, spirit? What's on their mind at this time? Queen of Pentacles, okay. Stability, security, long-term commitment. Queen of Pentacles already tends to be in a long-term commitment. You could be in a long-term commitment right now with someone. But I feel like you're choosing a new direction, going on a journey here towards success based off of what you are overcoming. You might be forgiving yourself for something, forgiving someone else so you can move on no longer are stuck in the past here okay so that's what's on your minds so what happened in the recent past what happened in the recent past for my aries viewers spirit who are in a connection what happened in the recent past nine of wands reverse well, let me take a sip of coffee Looks like you gave up on something in the past here. Or maybe you're refusing to give up. We'll see when I clarify. And what's going on for my Aries couples in the near future? Three of Cups. Beautiful. Some sort of reunion. Coming together with someone. Maybe a second chance because I have the judgment card at the bottom. Interesting. So let's get right into it. I'm going to clarify with the same deck. Also, I apologize in advance because this deck is very tall and my hands can only go, can only grab it. So I can't even put my whole hands around this deck. So there will be times where I'll drop all of the cards. Okay. Save your comments. <laughs> I know it's, it's bound to happen. So just uh, forgive me in advance. Okay. So let's get into this. 
the chariot and the two of swords reverse spirit what is this about this is the current situation here i feel like a decision needs to be made or has been made tell me about the chariot and the two of swords reverse three of pentacles interesting working together is another three I don't want to get ahead of myself building something cooperating collaborating what else for the chariot and the two of swords reverse what else I feel like whatever direction you've chosen you're willing to put in the effort you're willing to work on it eight of wands movement eight of wands i know a lot of tarot readers chalk this up to just communication but but eight of wands is not just communication it's also movement um so when i see it here with the chariot i'm thinking this has to do with movement maybe communication that that moves things along what's at the bottom king of swords so this could be a community this could be a message or a conversation here that moves things forward in your connection a conversation about building something together a conversation about working together and i feel like it requires a choice so why is this happening tell me about the five of cups reverse this is the root of why everything is happening here tell me about the five of cups reverse page of swords reverse okay tell me more about the five of cups reverse thank you hangman reverse there could be some sort of um but see i i see you overcoming this i have the nine of swords reverse there's someone didn't tell you the whole truth the whole story about something um, there could have been a bad conversation or a conversation that didn't end well um someone here with the hangman reverse didn't want to let go or couldn't let go of this but i feel like at this time you are able to overcome this whatever was hidden from you whatever was not right whatever was deceptive you are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel you're having clarity about this this could be your person as well. Um, Aries, keep in mind that this spread could be you or the person you're in a connection with because energy can be flipped. So flip it as it resonates. But in order to like avoid confusion, I'm just going to say that this is you. So here with the hangman reverse, this is someone that is unable to see things from an, a different angle. They can only see things one way and they're stuck. They're unable to let go and they're un, un, uh, not willing to to sacrifice anything not really to give up anything i feel like this is something you're overcoming can i have one more for the five of cups reverse i feel like it has to do with a bad choice in partner or a partnership that is fractured um, a broken commitment here possibly um, something to do with a partnership could be a gemini or a pisces a cancer an earth sign yeah i feel like this you you felt possibly like lonely um abandoned rejected possibly but you're overcoming this yeah look at this we have the queen of wands right behind that and behind that the ace of swords it's like you're able to see this clearly now you're able to see this clearly. I think this is this here is what's forcing you or pushing you to make a, a different choice to go down a new path um, to communicate about something with someone else. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why are they on your mind? Why is the Queen of Pentacles on your mind? What's this Queen of Pentacles about? The Magician Reverse, Ten of Swords Reverse. Interesting.
Okay, the world at the bottom. I feel like, okay, let me get one more before I say what I'm, what I'm seeing. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is this Queen of Pentacles, which I think this is you, Aries, or this is who you're thinking about. Um, there was something that didn't work out with this person. Whoever you are, you are above this at this time. The Queen of Pentacles, very grounded, solid, stable, secure. Um, I feel like since you're in this energy or you're thinking about someone in this energy, um, you are able to see that something was not able to work out. Something was not able to be manifested. Someone didn't put in the F, the work here. And you're over this ending. You're, you're, you're overcoming an ending. Uh, and you're overcoming an ending here to manifest something else. Empress at the bottom. It could also be that this has to do with a long-term commitment you are in at this time. This Queen of Pentacles could be in a long-term commitment, so uh, take it as it resonates, but I feel like this Queen of Pentacles and this Empress energy, they, they know their value. And they're very intelligent, and especially this Queen of Pentacles, very, um, she, they're so grounded, the Queen of Pentacles, that they can see things as they are. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. What happened in the past? Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse, please. For my Aries viewers. Tell me about that Nine of Wands. Seven of Cups reversed. Again, seeing things clearly here. What else for the Nine of Wands reverse? Oh my gosh, it's way too many. Can I get the Nine of Wands reverse? One more card, please. Something in the, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Something, okay, fine, fine. Five of Pentacles in limbo with the Eight of Swords in limbo. Just gonna take them just like this. Funny how they kind of match, right, in color. So I feel like um, because these two are in limbo, it's like you haven't fully, maybe you went back and forth about a, a rejection. You were stuck in this, and it's almost like your mind was playing games with you about what happened. Um, going back and forth about feeling rejected, feeling lonely, feeling like you weren't, you were struggling. Um, you know, it's almost like you went from being free of this mentality to going back to this mentality. That's how I'm picturing this. And then finally, there's been some clarity because you've dropped something here. You've given up on something here. Two of Cups reversed. This has to do with a partnership, I'm telling you. A partnership here that you've, you're seeing now for what it is, it, it wasn't working. So what's this Three of Cups about in the near future? What's this Three of Cups about? What's going on with this Three of Cups? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay. Oops. Hold on. What's this Wheel of Fortune? Nope. What's this Three of Cups about? What's this Three of Cups about? A change of heart? Interesting. Can I get one more? What's this Three of Cups about for Aries? What's this Three of Cups about? One card, please. Okay, I guess I'll have two. High Priest is reversed, King of Swords. Three of Swords at the bottom. 
This could be a third party. I have three threes here. And this is like someone here that could have been a secret admirer. Someone wants to talk to you about what they haven't said, or you want to talk to someone about what you haven't said. Something that was secret. You've had a change of heart, and maybe it was bad timing with this person at some point in your life. Maybe it just wasn't the right time. Things didn't work out. Um, there was something here where it felt like nothing was working. You're thinking about someone. Yeah, you love this person. I feel like you, you're having a change of heart and you want a reunion. And someone wants to communicate here. Could be here. Someone coming to you to communicate with you about coming together about what didn't work out for you about how they about wanting to 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 move forward with you wonder who this is i just put the deck and i have the world the world came up up there it's almost like you want to to have something it's like another person, not the person you're with here, another person you've had a change of heart about, another person you want to build with, you want a new beginning with. Very interesting. So I'm going to take this to the extended. The extendeds are going to be a little bit different. Like I said, half of the extended, the first half is for couples and the second half for singles. And I'm going to look at the challenges or blockages and advice from spirit. I'm also going to pull um, some romance angels as well. Um, so if this resonated with you, if you want to know more, uh, check out the extended. Um, I'm going to be moving on to the single spread now for Aries. Uh, feel free to stick around if you'd like to watch that. Um, otherwise, I will leave it here with those of you that are moving on. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment if it resonated. Um, all right, so let's get into this single spread for Aries. Let's see what's going on with my single Aries. Single Aries viewers. Spirit messages for Aries that are single. For July 1st through the 15th, 2020. Messages for Aries that are single. What do they need to know in regards to love? My Aries singles. What do they need to know in regards to love? Okay. All right, my single Aries. What do they need to know, Spirit, for July 1st through the 15th? 2020, what do they need to know? July 1st through the 15th. Oh, that's way too many, but okay. They want me to take them. We got Hangman, 10 of Swords, 5 of Swords. Wow. What happened? Something happened. There was an ending here, Aries. And ending that you're seeing clearly. You're seeing this from a new angle, this ending. Maybe it, there was some sort of deception here or something like that where you suffered some sort of loss. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Ooh, there you are. The fool. This is happening because there's a new beginning here. And I feel like you are leaving this king of swords reversed behind. Whoever this is. Someone here could be very pissed off that you're having a new beginning, that you're taking a, a risk. Going on a new journey here. They might have wanted to get in the middle of that. What's on your mind? 
what's on their mind. Huge thank you to everyone who has shared, liked, subscribed, and commented. I just want to mention it for those of you that are just checking in and didn't watch the couple spread. <laughs> so let's see. What's on your mind? Eight of Swords Reverse. Yeah, you're breaking free of a mental prison you were in. Maybe you were overthinking this at one point, no longer. Tell me what happened in the recent past. Thank you. Justice reversed. Wow. Okay. So justice reversed can mean a few things. It could straight up mean deception because justice upright is the truth. So there could have been um, some serious deception, something that was unfair to you, something that was unbalanced. And yeah, it was definitely deception. You were lied to. Ace of Swords reversed at the bottom here. You were lied to. You were deceived. And it was unfair. Tell me about the near future. What's coming up? Thank you. Four of Swords reverse. So, okay, there's some something here. You've already done all of the healing you could. Maybe you're restless and wanting to move. Move forward, move on with your life. Let's get to the bottom of this. Tell me about the Hangman, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Even though I kind of know what this what happened here. Tell me more. Wow. New opportunity, Aries. Wow. It's almost like in the midst of this, there's, a, there's an opportunity coming your way. <gasps> the lovers. What? Wow. Okay. An opportunity in love. A choice you'll have to make. Temperance at the bottom. Something coming together in harmony at the right time. Wow. This is a new beginning for you. That's why this is happening. This is a new beginning, a new opportunity. Tell me about the fool. Thank you. Eight of wheels or eight of pentacles. Reverse. Tell me about the fool. It's like something wasn't working, Some you you something wasn't working here, and so now, yeah, it's like you're looking for something else. Page of Swords, Nine of Cups. You're going after your wish fulfillment. Maybe this is happening because of a conversation you've had. Maybe you've done research about a new beginning, you know, looked into something, observed something. Um, something caught your eye here, and it's like something that I feel like you want. And so you're not going to work on this anymore over here. And look what's at the bottom. Definitely Knight of Cups. Either you're getting a message from someone, someone's expressing how they feel, or, or you are doing this. Again, feel free to flip it. This could be you, Aries. Or this could be the person coming towards you. But somehow I think this is you. For a lot of you watching, this is you. There's something that you want. Okay, so let's see. What's on your mind? Why? Why? Okay. Why the Eight of Swords? And look what came out again. The King, the, the King of Swords reverse. You're breaking free from this King of Swords reverse. I'm telling you. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. So again, it's like you're no longer fighting with this person. You're no longer participating here. You're giving up on this. To manifest something new. So why justice reverse? What happened in the... That's way too many. Why justice reverse? This is Libra energy. Why justice reverse? Four of Pentacles reverse. So that one did want to come out. Letting go. Why justice reverse? Seven of Pentacles. So it's almost like something here um, just wasn't working. Didn't pan out. 
didn't grow. You had doubts, but then it's like you found out that this was a lie or you were deceived and, and you let this go. I have so many cards here about letting go. Bottom of the deck, uh, the star. It's Aquarius energy here. You know, having hope, faith, healing. Healing from this. I feel like that's very important for the Aries that are watching. If you're wondering, like, why isn't this me? This isn't resonating with me. I, I you know, it's because you need to, you, we need to let go of the past to have a new beginning. We cannot do both. We cannot bring the past with us into our new beginning. It doesn't work that way. And I feel like energetically, a lot of us, and I'll include myself in that because I'm not perfect, we are energetically tied to the past. Sometimes we won't get closure and we need to accept that and move on. And I include myself in that as well because like I said, I'm, I'm human just like everybody watching this, hopefully. Um, <laughs> so I, I hope that you don't let the past tie you tie you down eight of swords reverse that's the opposite this is someone that's breaking free and they don't care who they piss off they're like whatever i'm not gonna fight about it so what's this four of swords reversed here why is the four of swords okay knight of pentacles reversed why is the four of swords reversed it's almost like you're restless, you're wanting to move, but it's going to be slow. Why is the Four of Swords reversed? Seven of Cups reversed. One more, please, for the Seven of Swords reversed. Look at this. Seven of Swords reverse and the Magician. It's like you're restless to manifest something. You, you, you've evaluated all the options, you've chosen one. But it's going to be very slow and it's possibly because there's something here that you're going to be dealing with in the near future. Some, some sort of like deception that you've caught or some sort of... Um, Whoever deceived you did not win, did not get away with it. And it's like, once you catch this, yeah, exactly. Once you catch this, you're moving on, Eight of Cups. You're leaving someone behind. Thankfully, it's because I feel because of this new beginning here that you're having with the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. You know, it's like there's a, there's a painful ending. There's deception here. You're, you're seeing it for what it is with the hangman. You're no longer going to be entangled in this. You're going to be completely letting go of this energy. And it's going to allow you to have a new beginning here. Whole new beginning for you. We have the ace of pentacles, the lovers, the fool, nine of cups, I mean, this is completely new energy. And I feel like, you know, it's like whoever tried to deceive you, it won't work. You'll still be able to manifest this. It's It might take a while. It might be a very slow and steady progress. You might still have obstacles. If this is a new person coming into your life, it won't be perfect. But um, I feel like it's going to be exactly, yeah, look at this, exactly what you wanted. Three of cups behind that. So maybe coming together, celebrating. Hopefully it's not a third party. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. But there's something here I feel like this, this is your reward for taking a risk, for doing what, what the hard part for doing, making the difficult choice, for make, for dealing with difficult people in the right way, for for cutting the cord of the past, this is your reward. So I'm gonna look at the challenges and blockages to this situation and any advice from spirit. I'll be pulling some romance angels as well to get a little more insight 
So if um, this resonated for you, if you want to learn more, then check out the extended. The link is in the description box. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of that is down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope this resonated with most of you. If it did, please let me know. I love hearing from you. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.